Hey, what's up? This is Hunter with Tortoise and Hare Software, and today we're going to be talking about the Presto landing page copywriting framework and doing a little bit of a, a live landing page build. Um, and if you aren't familiar with it already, the Presto uh, landing page copywriting framework is a homegrown uh, framework that I've developed to build landing pages for clients to help them generate leads um, via PPC and SEO. Um, and today we're going to be kind of applying that framework via a live landing page build uh, that we're going to do for one of my clients. Uh, so hope you enjoyed the video and let's dive right in. All right, um, so kind of before we actually get started on the landing page stuff, um, just want to kind of show you um, SEM rush here which is an SEO tool um, and when we talked about kind of getting this landing page together you know want to build a landing page that is capable of you know generating some organic traffic so looked at a few landing pages um, of various companies on some terms and um, you know looked at some terms like copilot IT partial IT management, fractional IT management, things like that. Um, Co-managed IT is kind of the most well-known, you know, version of this business model. And, um, you know, that turned out to be the one that was, that I saw most often on the, you know, leading um, pages that I could find. So I did a little bit of homework before starting the landing page to understand like what the search engine lands landscape looks like. And you know the volume is for co-managed, co-managed IT services. You know similar sort of keywords, and all the keyword difficulties here are um, showing as pretty easy. So we're just going to go ahead and go for the kill and try and um, build one for um, co-managed IT services here. Um, we'll, we'll choose that one. So I'm in the WordPress backend here for one of my uh, clients, which is NetTech Consultants. They're a Jacksonville-based uh, managed service provider um, who I've been working with uh, a long time. Um, and today we're gonna kind of walk through that landing page build for them. Um, so I got the title of the page here, which you can see is you know man it matches the t keyword that we're targeting. Um, and that's going to be co-managed IT services. Um, and then I've used it, you know, it's right here within the title and the search results and I've used it within the meta description. Um, so that's kind of like the first step to getting, you know, one of these pages going is um, putting, you know, some of the stuff in the um, titles and metas so it looks good on search engines. Um, and then now I'm going to go ahead and launch Dash Builder, um, which is a page builder that we use on this website. And um, I've got a number of templates or kind of saved um, pages. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a template um, right out the gate. Oops. Okay, yeah, there we go. So I've gone ahead and applied a template here for some of the pages that I've built for them before that just has some like, you know, sections that can be kind of streamline the development a little bit. Um, but we're going to edit some of these at the start. Um, so the, the Presto landing page copywriting framework stands for uh, pain, resonate, educate, simplify, testify, and then offer. Um, so the pain or the purpose, you know, the P in Presto, is kind of this uh, upper hero section here. Um, and we want to make sure that we're letting the visitor know that they've landed in the right spot pretty much immediately. Um, so we're gonna assume that somebody's been searching something related to co-managed or co-managed IT services on Google, or they've clicked an ad that has a similar term um, and they're gonna land here and this will be kind of their post-click experience. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and edit the title here to 
co-managed IT services for uh, small and medium businesses. And then we'll go ahead and update the subtitle here and say get um, partner with NetTech to get um, actually let's do like thinking about kind of co-manage like a company um, is going to want to you know it's going to be a mid-size organization usually that partners are co-managed. Um, so they're not going to want necessarily like a full-on fully managed solution. Um, a co-managed arrangement is where an IT company is going to partner with a, a you know organization or small business to do one small part of their IT, um, and that might be just software patching. That might be just uh, the help desk, you know, answering the phones. That might be uh, handling higher level like tier two or tier three uh, ticketing and support. Um, you know, it just kind of varies company to the company. So we're gonna say something along the lines of like plug, you know, your team's skills gap with, uh, you know, these co-managed IT services. So um, plug the gaps in your team Some partner with NetTech to plug the gaps in your teams. Capabilities, thinking like capacity or, um, you know, something like that, but I like capabilities. Plug the gaps in your team's capabilities. Um, so we're gonna partner with NetTech to plug the gaps in your team's capabilities. And operate more effectively in the market. Not perfect. We can always circle back and edit this, but um, you know, now we've kind of got a little like you know post-click experience. They've clicked on a co-managed IT ad. Um, they land co-managed IT services for small and medium business. Partner with NetTech to plug to plug the gaps in your team's capabilities. Um, partner with NetTech to plug the gaps in your ID, IT department and opti and operate more effectively in the market. Not bad. Um, okay, so we've got a phone number here, um, telephone link. This one's going to be pretty standard. Um, good to go here. Um, and next, we're going to take a look at this reinforcing graphic. Um, so this original graphic was meant to be on a computer support page, but I don't know how I feel about it for the uh, purposes of a um, co-managed IT arrangement. Uh, thinking about co-managed IT, I'm thinking more about like, you know, people stuff. So I'm thinking maybe a more, you know, teamwork oriented or people oriented type graphic might be more appropriate. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open up Photoshop here. Um, actually, I'm going to come over here to stock.adobe.com and let's see, technical teamwork. Let's see if we can find something interesting here. And when I'm looking for like these graphics, um, one thing that's kind of a common mistake, if you just look at like this graphic and this graphic, like these graphics right here kind of like take over where the copy will be on the page. Um, and you almost want something that's a little bit more like blended like this one I kind of like this one a little bit more because it's like blue color like throughout and grays so it's not quite as contrasting um, 
I still think there might be a better one though. Okay, so I kind of like this one because it's, you know, reminds me of like um, a tier one help desk. You got people in a call center answering the phone. Um, it's pretty smooth and blended throughout, so it's like not as distracting. Um, got some diversity in the, you know, photo. That's always nice. Um, so let's go ahead and go with this one. We can always swap it out later if need be, but I, I like I like the start. Um, I don't know why my Photoshop's not wanting to come over here, but I'm gonna go ahead and open this photo up in Photoshop and hmm, interesting. Um, Let me see if I can swap screen captures real quick and then maybe Inception. Okay, all right, so we got Photoshop open over here. Um, got the photo open. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a macro to it. Okay. I think OBS is interfering with my macro here, so I'm going to go ahead and do this manually. I'm going to turn this into a background. I'm going to resize the photo to 1920 pixels wide, which is like a. Um, okay, I see that's why. Um, so this one doesn't have the perfect aspect ratio, so. Let's go and make this a 1080 here. Um, so it's 1080 pixels high, and then I will edit the canvas size to be 1920 wide. Kind of like manually override the aspect ratio here. Um, and I could kind of like make this photo over here. Um, To where these you know people are more like prominent but i'm actually going to move it over here because this kind of like has more of the center of the text uh where the text is going to go like in the depth of field portion of the photo um so that should kind of make it a little bit less distracting um i'm gonna save a copy of this as a webp because that is the um, lowest file size, good for SEO. Um, I just do call center employees. All right, so I'm going to change the name of the photo because that is also good for SEO. And lossy 90 is a pretty good, like, mix of quality and size. Um, got that saved now. And then now I'm gonna swap this over to the website again and I'm gonna update the photo here. Upload the file, call center employees. Since this is a decoration only photo, I don't necessarily need to fill out the alt text, alt text, but I'm going to do it anyway. Call center employees for a co-managed IT department. All right, um, and then just kind of want to note here that I've applied a little bit of an opacity and overlay between the photo and the 
Like if I change this to none, like you can see how the photo is like kind of bright and is like makes the text really hard to read. But with this overlay, um, the photo is still back there, uh, but the text is just so much easier to read. Um, and I might even darken it a touch more. That's good. And let's see, maybe even like change this to fixed. Yeah, I like the fixed better on that one. Um, okay, so now we've kind of got our like our pain, our purpose. Like we've created a good post-click landing experience. It's easy for them to convert. They can either call or you know go to the free IT assessment thing. Um, so next up, we're going to um, move on to the R in our Presto copywriting framework, and that is resonate. So you know this. The purpose of this section is really just to stop them from bouncing, uh, make sure that they, you know, we get straight to the point, give them a option to impulse convert, because like, you know, we, we can't assume that this is the first time that they're seeing this page, and we always want to give a shortcut to people if this is the second or third time that they're visiting the site and they're ready to move forward. Don't make that hard. So phone number right there, convert button right there, like, you know, super easy. Um, that said, if this is the first time, we've given them enough information that they're not going to bounce immediately and want to continue the scroll. Um, and so we're going to kind of give them a little bit more of a conversational um, area here and kind of build some rapport with our copy in this resonating portion um, and kind of transition from our our pain point that we're addressing immediately and then tell them a little bit of a resonate, resonating story and then we can start educating and giving them a little bit more of the sales pitch. Um, so, I'm gonna delete this. Actually, let's just start with the text editor and go from there. Duplicate this section real quick. Um, delete that. Delete that. Delete that. Delete that. All right. So let's think for a second. Like, what can we do to kind of build rapport with somebody like shopping for co-managed IT services? Um, Again, we want to kind of like stay on focus with the message of like, we're going to partner with your team um, and not interfere with what you're doing as an IT manager, as an IT executive, CIO, whatever, you know, the title may be. Um, we're going to assume they have maybe like a, you know, executive leader type person on staff and they have a maybe an an entry or early career um, IT person helping but between the two of them there's just too much work to be done and they're not doing a great job of getting um, to all the you know fundamental needs in one way or the other whether that's you know fielding the support calls whether that's you know applying patches and making sure all the machines are updated whether that's being vigilant with uh, IT security um, and then detecting threats and addressing those as needed. Um, so um, we're going to assume that it's a executive person that is not necessarily an IT um, an IT person, but is you know partnering for the um, is looking for a partner for a piece of the IT function. Um, so let's see. I'm just gonna rip something out here and we can always circle back to it.
Okay, so we're going to expand the capabilities. Weird. Expand the capabilities and coverage of your organization's IT department with co-managed IT services. Um, I was trying to work in the keyword here again, but I'm just going to do that because it's simpler and cleaner. And then kind of give them like a, a question and kind of talk to them a little bit and say, is your IT department feeling overwhelmed? your IT department feeling overwhelmed trying to manage the constant barrage of end user support needs cyber threats and new technologies that are coming available in the marketplace um, so if that's how they're feeling you know that kind of again we're, we're building some rapport trying to help them you know trying to resonate with them um, Are you searching for a partner to expand the capacity of your IT department without hiring a robust team of staff that you might not need as your organization evolves? So like as this video is being recorded, we're in kind of like a little bit of a tech slowdown, uh, but generative AI has also just like taken kind of the tech world by storm. Um, rates are higher right now new it's election year coming up like there's a lot of uncertainty on the horizon so um, businesses you know need help kind of can plug the gap um, but you know they might have changing priorities change in strategic direction like all sorts of reasons they might not want to like staff up a full-on IT team because you know they they might not need um, you know a department they might be thinking of spinning off a business unit they might you know wind down a service offering you know they might add new service offerings like there's a lot of you know different reasons that like hiring the internal staff um, to kind of handle some of the more day-to-day -day IT needs might not be the right decision and partnering with an MSP both gives them flexibility and provides fractional access to um, resources at you know usually a more efficient cost in a lot of cases um, so kind of you know building some rapport for for them on, on that needs on that on kind of that basis by asking if they're you know searching for that partner um, without hiring that internal team um, let's see anything else we want to kind of challenge them with um,
actually, let's say, do you want your internal staff to be able to focus on more strategic initiatives? Do you want, let me just center this overall real quick. Do you want your internal staff to be able to focus on more strategic initiatives while outsourcing some of the day-to-day -day functions that are currently being overlooked? If so, MedTech consultants may be the partner you've been searching for. You want to reduce the burden on your internal staff, prevent them from burning out and derive more satisfaction from their employment experience with your company? Do you want your internal staff to be able to focus on more strategic initiatives while outsourcing some of the day-to-day -day functions that are currently being overlooked? If so, NetTech Consultants may be the partner you've been searching for. NetTech can plug into your IT department to handle just the pieces you need while allowing your staff to do what they do best. On a co-managed basis. here. Alright. Put a little 97% satisfaction rate, 15 minutes average response time, and let's do just a quick little testimonial. Um, do we have anything here? Um, all 
right, we'll circle back to that. Um, okay, so if we've got pain, we've got some a resonating story, um, and then now it's kind of time to educate them a little bit more. Um, delete some of these other sections here we don't need for the time being I'm also going to just kind of skip towards the end real quick and add in a couple of end sections let's see form CTA So this isn't showing right now, but there's we've got our form um, available right there. All right, get rid of that triangle. Um, and let's see if we have a testimonial. No, I don't want that. So I'm going to hit publish on this real quick. Just kind of show you on the front end that there's the form there. Um, so this is going to be like at the very end of our page and we're going to start filling out the middle as we go. Um, I'm going to come over here to another page real quick though and snag a testimonial section that I built recently that I really like and kind of want to save that as a, a template. So I'm going to come over here to this row and save as um, save that as a testimonial with cloud background come back over here to our co-managed page and relaunch the builder um, and then I also noticed that the font was not default. And that's kind of weird looking. Okay, there we go. The boldness is back. I don't know what the heck's going on. something funky with the caching here so let me clear the cache real quick okay all right and I'm gonna add in the e testimonial with the cloud background
So, got a testimonial here. Um, so now we've got like pain, we've got our resonating story. Um, we haven't done our education set section yet. We've got our testimonial um, and we've got our offer. So our, you know, call to action thing. One thing we need to do that's kind of a little, you know, uh, interstitial at the bottom here is to kind of give a little bit of a what I call a simplification. Um, so kind of positioning your offer as like a simple choice that's gonna make their life easier. Um, and then we can circle back to the educate, which is really the meat and potatoes of the, the whole landing page. All right, so I duplicated this section here. Um, So make your team's life easier with by with co-managed IT services from NetTech Consultants. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this little triangle at the bottom for now. Uh, and I'm gonna add in a little image so we can get a little little brand in here. Uh, logo. So NetTech Consultants has more than 25 years history. Good chance right here to link on the page. So I'm gonna to link to the about page. In case they wanna learn more. Partnering with small and medium businesses to create sustainable business value through their IT support solutions. 
again. I'm going to go ahead and link here to another page. Let's see. So this is kind of like the end of the uh, page, but it's typically going to be like a simplify, testify, offer. So after they've you know read all their educational bits, they'll hit this kind of simplify um, area and then read a nice testimonial and then be able to fill out the form at the end. And let me actually move that down. Okay, and I don't like the gray background here, so let's um, get rid of that. And let's see if we got a leadership team block. I'm going to duplicate this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I'm gonna make this a lot smaller. Um, zero ninety six on the bottom. And then on this one, I'll make this zero as well. I don't know what's going on with the builder today. I'm sorry to have some sort of caching issue or something going on. Um, okay, I'm going to get rid of this here because it's a little distracting. Um, I always like to kind of incorporate like a personal touch on the landing pages I build, um, you know, some people because people do business with people and having a little bit of a, uh, you know, some, some faces to see on the landing page never hurts. So gonna put a little let's see what color this is. Let's do a bottom triangle. 150, 75. Uh, color is the one we just pasted. So it blends in, always kind of frames the button a little bit, which is nice. Um, all right. So now I want to pull up this thing from Enable. Um, I just watched a webinar here on selling co-managed IT services and they had a nice little PDF here that was a digital playbook that I wanted to just pretty much thought was a great start and wanted to use more of that um, within the kind of education part of the page. Kind of a big document here, but so I need a second here to find where okay. 
Okay, so here we are. Popular co-managed IT service offerings. Um, so enables um, one of the software vendors, vendors in the channel, and they put on this nice webinar about kind of go-to market plans with co-managed IT. Um, again, offered this PDF, which was like a really great like PDF that has like um, sales objections and how to handle them, um, and a number of you know different like really useful things. Um, and you know, I saw that this was kind of within that. Um, webinar and wanted to more or less just uh, use this as a good start um, and so we'll kind of pitch these as co-managed backup co-managed um, patching um, this is co-managed DDR I'm gonna just change that to more like co-managed security and then talk about like um, maybe some help desk um, so we kind of got help desk security monitoring, patching, backups, um, that sort of stuff. So that's kind of wanted what I wanted to you know highlight as part of the co-managed offerings. Um, so that's what we will do. All right, so I'm coming back to the page here. And I'm gonna put in a Let's do a three column row. No, oh, and you actually needed a two column. This is fine. Uh, and then I also want to do a accordion. Okay, so within the accordion, we will do, we're gonna present our information of like, you know, allow them to expand and read what they want to see. Um, drive a few clicks on the page, make it, um, you know, it's uh, good for SEO if they're clicking on the page to expand stuff, things like that. Um, so we'll do co-managed backup. We'll do co-managed patching co-managed monitoring co-managed cyber security and we'll do co-managed No, we'll just leave it at that. And since this is kind of be a little bit of a bigger section, I'm going to expand the width here um, to 1920. Yeah, there we go. Um, give that a little bit more space. X that out. And then we'll do a little text editor here and say git partial So we'll do partial IT management for only what your organization needs. And then we'll have this co-managed backup, co-managed patching, co-managed monitoring, 
co-manage cybersecurity and co-manage help desk. Um, and then I'm going to give this column a little padding so it looks better. And this maybe 15% is too much. Let's do like five. Okay. And then a little copy here. Um, and say funky here so I'll go back to 15% and we'll equalize heights here and center align <coughs> yeah I like that I also kind of want to break up this part of the page a little bit so I might change the background color here. Um, to a Just do this darker gray. Too gray. Okay, I like this soft touch. And then let's actually make this white. crazy but I don't want to fix this live on the call so or on the video so I'm just gonna deal with it for now I think this might have something to do with applying a template that might have some code from a previous update or something so I might need to rebuild a new template and uh, use that as the um, template going forward. All right, so for this, I'm going to make sure that expand first item, yes, no. Inactive other items, yes. Um, let's see what presets we got here. I don't remember which one I like. Not that one. I think this could be an extension too. Just disable all these extensions. This is the one I like. Um, 
preset three. Typography, I want to make sure that this typography is an H3 tag, um, but I will lower the size a touch to 24. Um, and medium, yeah, because I don't want that to take over the page. Um, Let's do for these background colors white, and I want the little stripe thingy. To be blue, net tech blue. Give the page a little bit more color. Um, and I think I also want the plus buttons to be net tech blue. Actually, like duplicate this column real quick. Um, and Okay, I'm going to add that in. Let's actually move this one to the center and make it bigger. Actually, make this one style text color net tech blue, number color net tech blue. This one's going to be 24 by default, but actually we want to make it 32. And this one, let's go to 48. No. And then bold. And then let's make all these centered. There we go. And then from there we can actually add in a triangle on the bottom here and 50 75 uh, bottom center color shape this gray okay So let's make this 1280. Pain, resonate, educate, simplify, testify, and offer. Okay, so I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on the video here, like actually filling out these sections. Um, and I might add in some other, like, um, well, you know what, actually I will, cause I want to show you a possible, um, an SEO optimization real quick. Okay, 
so let's talk about code managed backup. Um, backup your. Let's make this code managed backups in DR and disaster. Fit. Yes. Okay. Back up your critical data using co managed backup solutions for Office Microsoft 365, OneDrive, and other data assets. That's not supposed to be capitalized. All right. Keep your systems and software up to date and protected from vulnerabilities. Okay, so all right, we've got for co managed backups, back up your critical data using co managed backup solutions for Microsoft 365, OneDrive, and other data assets. Um, for co managed patching, keep your systems and software up to date and protected from vulnerabilities with prompt patching and maintenance activities. Um, for co managed monitoring, we'll remotely monitor your systems for failures that can be proactively addressed in order to prevent downtime and maintain operational integrity. Um, for managed cybersecurity, we'll say um, keep your organization protected from cyber threats with perimeter. Robust multi layered cybersecurity solutions or robust multi layered cybersecurity software solutions, cyber awareness training, and uh, detection and response activities. Okay. Um, for co-managed help desk, we'll say get access to our 24 7 IT help desk to field your end users support calls or just escalate to us in the event of a unsolved an event of a tier two plus support issue. Um, they should know what that means. Um, I hope. <laughs>
Okay. Um. Boom. All right, so we've got a a decent start at a landing page. Um, one thing I'm going to do next is come over here to SEM Rush, and then I'm going to look at a on-page SEO checker. Um, add landing page, and then I'm going to add the landing page that we just created for co-managed IT services. And then I'm going to run that real fast. I'm also going to come back in here and do a couple of quick links. So Microsoft 365 backup. So since Enable was one of the companies that gave us um, you know, this uh, solution, I'm gonna link back to them right here in our backup. Because we wanna have at least like one um, outgoing link on the page. So just quickly explain what a what is a tier two help desk issue? And that's basically when there's like um, other like issues that can't be resolved by um, first tier support, such as like a password reset or something like that. Maybe they don't know how to. Um, install an application properly or configure something um, and they have to escalate it to the next level of uh, support um, so I'm going to link to that in case they need to know more about that um, they should know that though <laughs> um, okay Got a couple links. Um, I'm actually going to look at the back end of the page here too. Let's see what our SEO analysis says. Um, Co managed IT services was our key phrase. Outbound links, images, all that stuff. Um, None of these is super critical, and I won't focus on those for now. Let's look at the. So I'm going to come back to SEMrush and look at some of the um, suggestions there. Um, and then this is one what I really wanted to like look at here is just um, what some of the. Um, additional people that rank for co-managed IT services, what they're talking about on their pages. This is kind of a quick way to find that out by using this tool. Um, and yeah, so internal IT team. Okay, we've talked about a lot of that stuff, so I don't feel like I'm missing anything too huge. Um, for the purposes of this. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna hit update here. I'm 
to come back and replace the featured image here. Uh, but you also definitely want to make sure you have a featured image for your pages so they can have images appear in search results and the image will also show up on um, like social media platforms. So if I come over here to like LinkedIn for instance, share this, it will pull from the post preview the featured image. This is, and since this is a brand new page, it doesn't have the image cached, so it's got to download it manually. But you can see that the image has appeared there, and that's because I sent that featured image. Okay, so again, this is kind of the Presto landing page copywriting framework. I'm going to come back and edit this page and again round it out a little bit more. Um, but we started off with our pain point, which is the P, um, the purpose, address that immediately. Then we did some rapport building or kind of resonation, um, tell them resonating story, etc. So we've you know kind of built the rapport there um, by asking them some challenging questions that lets them know that we know their business and know that we know what they're kind of searching for and why they're searching for it. Um, kind of highlight some of the things that NetTech does great. Um, educate them on what's available by kind of highlighting these kind of five you know pillar areas of co-managed IT that we can do um, tell them to make their team's life easier with a co-managed IT service solution from NetTech um, give a quick pitch um, you know showcase some of the team members give a testimonial um, from one of the clients that um, and we've got a couple other testimonials here um, that really like you know tell people uh, you know what customers have to say about NetTech and then have a call to action or um, the offer since the offer here is just to you know get a um, like a quote actually let me change that real quick let's see So get a quote for co-managed IT services today. Okay, and I also noticed that the font here was not the default for whatever reason. Okay, that's just actually bolded. Bolded, all these are bolded. Uh, I'll just go ahead and manually bolt this. Oh, that's a heading three, that's why. All right, so we're done. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it informative and maybe learned a thing or two. Um, again, today we walked over the Presto landing page copywriting framework. Uh, this copywriting framework is something that I've had a lot of success with on lead generation activities for MSPs, SaaS companies, and other B2B technology firms. And you know, it starts with addressing that pain point or that purpose immediately off the gate prevent them bounce, let them know that they've gotten to the right place, uh, build rapport or tell them a resonating story that shows them that they un that you understand their business and their pain points and their challenges, or ask them some challenging questions that kind of, again, demonstrate that you know what the reason that they've arrived on that landing page while they're searching for their solutions. Um, from there, you know, educate them on your service offerings, you know, tell them uh, what you do, what they're gonna get, um, and then, you know, trans 
uh, do a transitionary kind of section that simplifies your offer and positions it as the best option. Uh, reinforce that with a testimonial right below that and then give them the offer, um, which is your primary call to action for the landing page. Um, and it's a good framework that you can't go wrong with. Uh, again, used it to generate a bunch of leads for B2B technology companies. So try it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. Uh, let us know how it goes in the comments below. And again, thanks for watching. I'm Hunter Nelson with Tortoise and Hair Software. And until next time.